it's me, Super Sid, and welcome to the next episode of Superman Kendo! Today's episode is all about loving the skin we're in. We're gonna have a super story, a cool lesson, and a fun craft. So let's get this confidence show on the road. Today, we will be reading the book, Cocoa Tea and Honey, by Kimberly Davis Peters. Your brown is beautiful, and so is mine. Every brown is beautiful, and one of a kind. Some shades are deep, like warm cocoa on a winter day. Our browns may be different, but we all like to play. Some shades are like honey, a light golden brown. Our browns may be different, but we can all spin fast on the merry-go-round. Some shades are soft brown, like the color of sweet tea. Our browns may be different, but you can jump rope with me. No matter the shade, brown is beautiful to me. It may be the color of cocoa, honey, or tea. From light brown to deep brown, and everything in between. As long as you're kind, it doesn't matter to me. Our browns may be different, or they might be the same. Each brown is unique in its own special way. But one thing I know that is true to the end, I will always be proud to call you my friend. The end. What an amazing story. I'm proud to be in my skin. What about you? Here's reporter Rachel to tell you more about the author and how you can get your very own copy of this book. Hit it! Thanks, Sydney. This just in. The book, Cocoa Tea and Honey, is now available for purchase. Head to the description below to get your very own copy today. Two-time author, mother, and writer, Kimberly Davis Peters is determined to change the narrative in children's books. She is creating stories that allow black and brown children to see themselves in a positive way. Her stories prioritize the importance of self-love and appreciation, while also teaching instrumental lifelong lessons about friendship, kindness, and compassion. Children, parents, and teachers have praised her work as being beautifully written with inspiring messages. Both of her releases, Ellie and the Rainy Day and Coco Tea and Honey, have also been rated five stars by Reader's Favorite. A Midwest Ohio resident, Kimberly enjoys spending time with her family and writing new stories for children. Back to you, Sydney. Thanks, Rachel. Now, you know what time it is. It's lesson time. Expert Ella, can you help me out? Oh, hey guys. I know I may look a little different today, but since we're reading a book all about loving ourselves, I thought I'd try something new. Give me a like on this video if you like my new look. If you're like me, you will have friends who are very different from you. Different likes, different dislikes, different backgrounds, different cultures. And guess what? That's awesome. Having friends who are different from you help you learn and appreciate new things. In the book we read today, Coco Tea and Honey, we learn to love the different shades of our skin. The natural rainbow of our skin tones makes the world a beautiful place. The images throughout this story illustrate that beauty. The best part is, 
our different skin tones don't stop us from being the best of friends. So I encourage you to go out, make new friends, learn new things, and have lots of fun. And I think Artsy Alice has a craft that can help you do just that. Hey Alice, you're up! Hey guys, it's me, Artsy Alice, and it's crafting time! Today, we are going to be doing a very simple, but very super craft all about friends. Here's what you'll need. The All About My Friends handout, which you can find in the description of this video. Something to write with, and something to color with. So, let's get started! First, you are going to take the first page of your handout and write down some important information. Your friend's name, their favorite color, their favorite food, their favorite thing to do for fun, their favorite hobby, and their favorite place to visit. It may be hard to tell, but expert Ella and I are best friends. So this handout is all about her. Her name is expert Ella, of course. Her favorite color is blue, you can tell by her tie. Her favorite food is apples, because she says those are very healthy. Her favorite thing to do for fun is lots of reading. Have you seen all those books? Her favorite hobby is learning something new. That's why she's the expert. And her favorite place to visit is the library, obviously. If you don't know some of these things about your friend, this is a great time to sit down with them and find out. Now, you're gonna take your second page of your handout and draw a picture of your best friend. But first, I have a joke for you. Why did the tree get in trouble? Because he was naughty! <laughs> Seriously? Because trees have knots? Expert Ella told me that one. I didn't get it at first either. Anyway, back to the craft. And here's my picture of Expert Ella reading a book with her signature blue tie. And she's saying, please no more makeup, because that's what she said to me the last time I put glitter eyeshadow on her. And there you have it, your very own handout to tell you all about your best friend. Keep this handout nearby to help you appreciate your friend and remember cool things about them. What an awesome episode. I already love being me, but now I love it even more. What about you? If you enjoyed this book, Cocoa Tea and Honey, as much as I did, go into the description below to get your very own copy today. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Super Saiyan out.